Hi, my name is Tyson, and today I want to show you how to access data from the 2020 Decennial Census Detailed Demographic and Housing Characteristics File A, or Detailed DHCA, using the Census Data Application Programming Interface, or API. The Detailed DHCA provides population counts and age and sex statistics for racial and ethnic groups in American Indian and Alaska Native tribes and villages. There are different reasons for why you would choose to use the Census Data API to get your data. Some of our data users find that the Census Data API is the best way to get data when they need a large amount of it, while others find it's the best way to get data when they plan to use it in the applications they create. I'm not sure how much data I should expect for my request, so to play it safe, I want to use the Census Data API to make that request. I want to find data on the Ethiopian population for all the cities and towns in Nevada. I want data for those who reported their race as Ethiopian alone, as well as those who reported their race as Ethiopian alone or in any combination. I'm familiar enough with what's available from the detailed DHCA to know that there are four tables associated with it. The first one, T01001, looks at the total population, the other three tables provide sex by age data. These three tables differ according to the number of age categories provided. T02001 provides four age categories. T02002 provides nine age categories. And T02003 provides 23 age categories. The amount of data that you receive is based on the size of the population group you are looking at and the size of the geography. When using data from the detailed DHCA, we recommend that you view our video that explains how the amount of data that you receive is determined. This video can be found at the link below. At this point, I only want to know what the total population is for these groups in each city and town, so I'm only going to request table T01001. Let's go ahead and take a look at the API so I can show you how to use it to get this data. Using your web browser, go to census.gov. Under the Data and Maps heading, click on Developers. Under the Developers heading, click on the link to the Discovery tool. Then click on the format that you'd like to view the Discovery tool in. For this, click on the HTML version. The Discovery tool houses all the different data sets found in the API. To locate the 2020 Detailed DHCA, click on Control-F and type Detailed Demographic and Housing Characteristics, File A, into the search bar that appears. The dataset you want is the one labeled as Detailed Demographic and Housing Characteristics, File A. To isolate the information for this dataset so you don't have to worry about the other datasets found on this page, click on the API base URL found in the last column. Add .html to the end of it. Hit enter and you'll see that you have the API information for the detailed DHCA. You first want to confirm that you'll be able to pull data from the table in its entirety. When you pull data for an entire table, it's referred to as making a group call. To confirm that the table we need is available for group calls, right-click on the Groups link and choose Open Link in New Tab. I can see that the table T01001 is available for group calls, so now that this is confirmed, I can close this tab. Returning to the information page where I initially selected the Groups link, the next step is to find the variable that will allow me to choose data for the Ethiopian alone and the Ethiopian alone or in any combination populations. To get the full list of variables, right-click on the Variables link and choose Open Link in New Tab. The variable we need is near the top of the list. It's called Pop Group. Let's take note of the variable name as well as its related variable, Pop Group underscore Label. Now that I have the population group variables that I need, I now want to look at the list of example queries that are available. To get to that, return to the information page, right-click on the examples link, and choose open link in new tab. 
Here you can find example links for all the geographies that are available with the detailed DHCA. For this example, I want to get data for all the cities and towns in Nevada. Since this would be the place level data, I want to focus on the queries found for geography level or summary level 160. The ampersand 4 portion of the query dictates the geography. The first two queries are going to give you data for all places in the U.S. The places group includes cities, towns, villages, and census-designated places or CDPs. You can tell that they are going to give you data for all places because they use the wildcard which is represented by an asterisk. The difference between the two is that the second one spells it out for all places in all states. This second one is handy because you can change the asterisk for the state to a two-digit Federal Information Processing System, or FIPS code, that is associated with each state. The last one allows you to look at data for a single place within a given state. Since I want data for all places in Nevada, and I know that the second one could be modified to get data for all the places in a single state, I'm going to go ahead and use that one. Right-click on the second query and choose Open Link in New Tab. When it opens, you'll see that it is listing out all the places in the U.S., which is the first portion of each line, labeled as name, along with their respective state FIPS code, which is the second portion of each line labeled as state, and the place code, which is the last portion of each line labeled as place. This FIPS code is especially useful at the moment because I don't know off the top of my head what the state code is for Nevada. We can use this output to figure it out, though. Click on Control F and type Nevada. You may have to skip through some matches where Nevada is part of the city or town name, but eventually you'll get to a match for the state. In looking at these matches, I can see that the two-digit FIPS code for Nevada is 32. Now we can modify the query to narrow it down to just Nevada. Navigate to the query and change the asterisk after state to 32. Then hit enter. Now we have a list of all the places found in Nevada. Now let's look for the population group codes for the Ethiopian alone and Ethiopian alone or in any combination population groups. To get the full list of available population groups and their respective codes, right after name in the URL, type in comma pop group comma pop group underscore label. Be sure to include commas to separate each variable, but do not include any spaces. Once you do this, hit enter to run the new query. Now we can see the list of all the different population groups and their respective codes. Click on Control F and type Ethiopian in the text box. When we get to the match for the Ethiopian alone, we can see that the population group code is 1238. So let's make note of that. Skip through until you see a line for the Ethiopian alone or in any combination. We can see that the population group code for that is 1306. Let's add these codes to our query. Delete pop group comma from its current position in the URL. Now after pop group underscore label, type ampersand pop group equals 1238 ampersand pop group equals 1306. Hit enter to run this new query. Now we have two lines for each of the places in Nevada one each for Ethiopian alone, and one each for Ethiopian alone or in any combination. Our last step is to add in the table. Right after the get equals portion of the URL, remove name, comma, pop group, underscore label, and replace it with group, open parentheses, T01001, closed parentheses, then hit enter. You'll receive data back for the requested table for both population groups for all the places that the data is available for. The top half of the output 
gives the number of people who reported their race as Ethiopian alone for all the places in Nevada that the data are available for. The bottom half gives the number of people who reported their race as Ethiopian alone or in any combination in all the places in Nevada that the data are available for. Let's review one of the lines of the output. We'll use Enterprise CDP as an example. The first portion is GeoID, which is the unique geographic identifier for the given geography. The next portion is the name of the geography, Enterprise CDP. This is followed by POP Group and POP Group Label, which tell us both the numeric population group code and the written name of the population group we are looking at. For this line, we are looking at Ethiopian alone, which has a code of 1238. Next are the individual counts that make up table T01001. If you want to find out what each variable is, visit the variables page. The value found for T01001 underscore 001N is the total population. We can see that there are 2,528 people in Enterprise CDP who reported their race as Ethiopian alone. Next is the POP group code again, followed by the state FIPS code, which in this case is 32 for Nevada. And last is the five digit place code for each of the places shown. Each five digit code is unique to the place. So as an example, we can see that 23770 is the code for Enterprise CDP. I hope this tutorial has helped in learning how to use the Census Data API to make a group call to get data for detailed racial and ethnic groups and American Indian and Alaska Native tribes and villages from the 2020 Detailed Demographic and Housing Characteristics File A. For more guidance on using the Census Data API, please visit our resources page at the link below. Thank you.